Newton Crouch Incorporated presents technical tips. This is a kit to repair a one inch motor. Uh, it's an NC8080 kit. Included in our kit is one motor cap seal, two shaft bearings, one shaft key, one gear key, one bearing spacer, a seal, and two O-rings. You need a flashlight. Sometimes you don't have enough light overhead. If you have a good light, you may not. You need a Phillips screwdriver. You need a flathead screwdriver. You need an O-ring pick. That'll help you get the O-rings out of the cavities. We have a homemade tool that we make made here for pulling the seal out of the cavity. You need a some kind of a shaft with a point on the end of it because you're going to need to put this in the the top of the motor inside of the, the inside of the shaft, the cavity, the key slot in the shaft. And you'll take a hammer and you'll drive it, drive the shaft out of the top of the motor. See on the top you got the motor cap, got three screws in it. You got the shaft that goes down. The camera can follow this. We got we got two bearings, the top bearing, the bottom bearing. Right, this is the spacer that goes between the bottom bearing and the seal. The seal, you can see it's placed in the cavity. You have to drive the seal in. The next is a top O-ring. There's a cavity for it. Then there's a large cavity in between it and the bottom O-ring. When you get the two O-rings and the, the seal in the housing, then that's all you have to do. That's all the parts you put in the housing itself for the kit. Right, you have a motor cap fits on top of the motor. It has three set screws in it. You take a Phillips screwdriver and take all three set screws or three screws out of the cap. Then you take the key out of the slot. You may have to use a um, chisel or something. Sometimes they're hard. Then you can take the a hammer and tap on the side of the motor cap and it'll come off pretty easy. After you've taken the motor cap off, then you're ready to take the shaft out of the, the motor itself. You take a round rod with a little point on it and put it in the top of the key and tap on it with a hammer and that usually breaks it loose. Some of them are harder than others. Once you get it uh, up, they're harder on the motor. This was a cutaway, so it's much easier. And it comes right out. And the seal came off with it, but only because this is a cutout. When you, when you drive it out, that seal will stay in the, in the motor. You'll have to take that out with a little tube. All right, it's time to take the seal out. And we have a little tube that we have to do that with. Take it and hook the, the front end up under the seal and the back side rests on the top of the shoulder and you just pull. And you most likely have to take a hammer and tap on the top of it. You'll probably have to work both sides of it. They're usually in there pretty tight. Next is the O-rings and you can take that top O-ring out first. You take your O-ring pick put down in the cavity there and you might have to reach up on the top of the top of the o-ring and pry it out sometimes you have to kind of fork it and uh, pull it out where you can get to it once you get it out you can just hook it if you've got a, a o-ring pick with a hook you can just hook it and pull it straight up and that's the top o-ring right, just repeat the process for the other o-ring make sure both are removed Now we're installing the O-rings. You have two. Each one has its own place. Start with the bottom O-ring. You may need a flashlight if you don't have good overhead lighting. It's hard to see the, the two different cavities. To fill, you can't see very well so you need to, to fill it with your fingers or get a good look at it with a flashlight before you start to install it and go to the bottom 
cavity and put your bottom o-ring in. Then you skip that wider cavity that's just above it and you put the second o-ring in and you'll have to feel for it but it'll go right in the slot. All right, now it's time to install the seal and you have to make sure you got the right side. The side with the rubber goes down, the side that's flat with the metal goes to the top. And we use a, a, a shaft or a piece of pipe or something that's the approximate size the approximate diameter of the seal and then you take a hammer and you can just drive it drive the seal down till it's flush with the top of the shoulder now it's time to install the shaft with the bearings on it each of the bearings has a seal on it you have to take one bearing take both seals off of it both sides that's the bottom bearing. And I use a little flathead screwdriver, screwdriver. The top bearing, you just take one side, one seal off of one side. Doesn't matter which side, as long as you have one seal on, that seal goes on the top. It, it, it sticks outside the motor. You want to make sure that it's up. When you put it on the shaft, it looks just like that. To install the bearings on the shaft, make sure that you have the, the bearing that has no seals in it goes on first. That's the bottom bearing, side that has the quarter inch key. And make sure you have the right side of the shaft, which is, uh, you can see the shoulder, and it goes on the, make sure that the top bearing has the seal on the outside. Now you're ready to press them in with an arbor press. Put the bottom bearing on first that has no seals in it and the shaft's actually upside down when you in this arbor press here make sure you got it seated as straight as you can get it and start pressure easy until you do you know your shaft is sliding through then press it down until you bottom out on the shoulder just don't don't put a lot of pressure but just make sure it seats on the shoulder now you're ready for the top bearing and you want to make sure that the top bearing has the seal that's left you remember you had one seal off and one seal on make sure that seal is on the top side where when you turn that shelf upside down it's going to be showing out of the motor And again, just just seat it up against the bottom bearing. Not a lot of pressure, just enough to make sure they're touching. And then check it, make sure your bearings spin. And notice that the seal is still on the outside. Now you're ready to install it in the motor. You take the spacer. This spacer has a flat side and a tapered side. The tapered side goes up. Take it and put it right on top of the, bar the seal that's already been driven into the housing. Turn your little uh, indentions, little cutouts, toward the grease fitting hole. There's a grease fitting that would, would go in that hole. It's been removed since it was cut in half. The grease goes through that fitting and it goes in the bottom of the bearing, the bottom bearing, and it goes up as you put grease in it, as you pump the grease, it goes up to the top bearing. 
and that seal on the top outer bearing keeps the grease from coming out the top of the shaft. You, this, now you line up the the key slot with the key. You might have to turn it a little bit to find the to, to feel it fit, but you'll finally feel it fit. Then you can drive the shaft until it bottoms out. You can take a block of wood, or if you have a tool that will will uh, fit the shaft and come down on the bearing, you can drive it with a with a tool. In our demonstration, when we drove the shaft down through the cavity, it grabbed one of the O-rings and pulled it down. That won't happen when you do it uh, with your uh, complete motor. This motor has been cut in half, and we only did that to so that you could see where each o-ring went. Now you have the o-rings, both o-rings, the seal, the washer, and the two bearings. Right, this is the motor cap for the one inch motor. If you need to replace the seal, you can take a piece of shaft, or I have a little tool that I use. Just take it and you can now knock the seal out with the tool and if you want to install a new one, uh, we'll put this one back in. But all you have to do is line it, line it up. Make sure your spring side is up with the rubber. Make sure your spring stays in. If it comes out, push it back in. Line it up. And you take a piece of flat shaft, or like I said, I have a tool to drive it in. Just tap it till it seats in the bottom of the shoulder. And like I said, if that spring uh, kind of comes out, just make sure it's, it's back secured. And that's all you have to do. Clean out any residue that's in there. Now the last thing We've done everything else. You just put your quarter inch key in the top and you're done. We hope this video has answered your questions. Technical assistance is available 24-7 on our YouTube channel or our website www.newtoncrouch.com. Call us at 800-241-1350 a real person will answer the phone. No recorded menus. Our knowledgeable staff will be glad to help you. Proudly made in America, a family-owned business since 1940, Newton Crouch.